I was slightly terrified when when Beck started storytelling because I was like, "Am I going to be able to reroute this back to the thing I was doing, <laughs> or is this going to go completely off the rails?" And I'm not going to get to do to tail teller. <laughs> Ow! So speaking of tail teller, someone's upset that you've been telling tales and altering the planescape of this labyrinth. Who? This tremendous creature. Uh, looming down at you almost as tall as the walls of the labyrinth themselves he could probably climb over him he, he's a spry big old man he looks at you and he glowers at Cassidy in particular and he says it's been so long since I've had fresh prey to play with. You, you changed this place. You're first. A what now? Everybody needs to make a spirit check against fear. Oh. Uh, ah, incorrect. Beck incorrect. Stand. <laughs> shoots him. Beck <laughs> swings his leg off of Petticoat steps in front of Cassidy blocking this thing's view of him and says oh you took the words right out of my mouth and then <laughs> fires a shot at him I'm quick drawing this motherfucker oh hell yeah you get that shot off go ahead and roll damage for me and then we'll start a round of initiative uh, still roll yeah, we can go ahead and uh, roll. I think I need to put you in the initiative. Yeah, well, I, I, first. I think he's asking if fear is still happening or not. Um, that'll be on his turn. He'll do that to you. Right. Oh. Ooh. All right, y'all should be in the initiative tracker now. Well, you, there you are. Now you can draw your card. Where is the initiative <laughs> tracker low. again? It is the combat encounters button at the top right. The cross swords. Thank you. I am lacking uh, from the initiative tracker. Uh, let me manually add you. There you are. Thank you. Um, almost a joker. I'm. I've lost myself in the interface. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the cross swords. Right, there's cross swords. Yeah. How do I? Oh, the Hover card. On, the icon on the left. There. There it is. Yeah. There you go. How do I undock it? Damn it. Okay. There we go. Oh, there you go. Right, you click, on the, you right click on the swords. There it is. You can tell we've had a combat heavy campaign <laughs> from all our muscle memory. Yeah. Uh, did Nicodemus draw? I'm um, sorry. I need to roll spirit, right? Uh, well, no, no, we're drawing initiative, initiative. So you click on the swords in the top right corner, then you click on the hand of cards by your portrait. All right, so we're going to resolve uh, that opening shot from Beck, and then we'll go into the initiative. Uh, Beck, that is a raise, in fact. So you're going to roll Ooh. a raise. Uh, I already rolled, so... You, ro oh, you rolled the damage? Yeah, I did. Uh, so yeah. I got a nine. Right. I don't know if that's with the raise or not. Um, Let me refresh myself. I think a raise adds four to that. Okay, so then it's a 13. Yeah, all right. Let's see, apply damage. All right. And you have armor oh, spruce one. All right. So that bullet barrels towards him and embeds itself in the hardened black body beneath the tearaway skin that coats this creature. And it seems unfazed by this. I think Beck's eyes narrow and he goes, Do I know you? 
I am the Lord Metis, Lord of Fear. You will know my name. You know damn well that's not the name I'm looking for. What they called you before, or are you so much lesser than him that he can't even grant an aspect of himself a true name? Ooh. He does not respond to that. Yeah, um, the thing with that, though, is that that was an intimidation check. Ooh. And it's got a five. That's okay, I guess. All right. Can I assist with that? Uh, you would need to roll support on your turn. Okay. Never mind then. Can I spend a power point to remove that one thing so it's a six? Yes, you uh, have the ability uh, with your no rest for the wicked edge to remove Mm -hmm. uh, fatigue penalties from your rolls. I just spent one power point to do that, so. Okay. Unfortunately, you're not going to beat a 13. He is unfazed by your remark. He's got a lot of spirit. That's a different name than we are going down here for. Yeah, that does not seem to be the one. All right, Chance. I expected us to meet us Barbitas down here. Uh, I'm going (laughs) to hold my action. All right. Then next up will be Beck. Chance, by the way, pulled the best card. I just wanted to point that out. Again. Every single time. That's not a joker, though, so. (laughs) What's even the point? Uh, I'm that. And I'll spend another power point to ignore the, uh, the, uh, yep. All right. It's a four. Does it hit? uh, A four is a solid hit. Uh, Okay. Yep, that'll hit. Cool. Let me change my power point a little bit just to make sure that's taken care of because it does not seem to be doable through the normal interface. Nope. Ooh, got an extra die on that. Let's so see. once again, a four. Uh, no, this is more than the last one. This is a 14. Yep, that's one more. And again, another bullet embeds next to the first. And he doesn't even flinch. Truly really terrifying. Is, it, is he not flinching because it's not hurting him? Or is he not flinching because it's not hurting him enough? You're not sure. His anatomy is far from humanoid at this point. All right, next up will be Nicodemus. Okay, I don't want to do smite. All right, do that smite. Give me a faith roll. With a Benny. With that Benny. Oh! Oh no! Ooh, oh, no you, you don't believe that's in God a, anymore. <laughs> that's a critical fail. And, Whoops! Uh, when you critical fail on a faith roll to manifest a power, you cause a backlash. Oh. So let me look up the exact effect for a backlash for your particular uh, abilities. No, not wild it's, magic. Uh, it's done it, by it's essentially wild magic, but it's, it's no. different uh, based on your particular arcane background. I Let's thought I escaped how that wild magic. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. A critical failure on a faith roll causes you a level of fatigue, and all currently active powers are removed. Does so you don't have any... do anything against critical failure? Um, uh, no. Okay. Unfortunately. So I'm giving you one level of fatigue, Nicodemus, as oh, no. you begin to bless whatever you reach out to. You feel as if all the energy in the room is being sucked away into this creature. He is feeding upon it. And you feel a torpor overtake you. It's not good. That's not helpful. Oh no. Nope. 
All right. Now it's his turn. The Lord of Fear grins wide across his pointed black beak and raises his hands up high. And he says, Now, go on then. It's only fun if you run. I'd, I'd like to interrupt him. All right. I want you to interrupt him. I think this one is <laughs> contested though, right? Uh, yes, it will be because you don't have the benefit of the Joker. So, so what do I roll for that? Uh, that is an opposed agility against his agility. He only rolled a four, but you only rolled a two. Uh, I'm going to try to Benny that. All right. All right. Um, you are the one canceling out his power. So that is a success. You managed to get in in time. Now we'll see if you can make your dispel check. I'm in fact not going to do a dispel. Ooh, I'm going to start a deal with the devil. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, what could go wrong? Let me get out the deal with the devil deck. Spend the Mechanically well. speaking, is this chance cha- like channeling a connection to Madoska specifically? I believe it is. Do I need to roll for Beck to notice and understand what is happening? You could give me an occult roll to understand what's happening here. Please fucking explode. No, that was dog shit. Fuck. But I wanted to retort. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, do you have your hand open? For I have my hand open. All right. Um, you can it's currently go ahead and still hit full it. of my last hand. Can I just hit reset? Yep, and that'll send them back to the deck. And then Perfect. I will shuffle the deck. Deck has been shuffled. Go ahead and draw. Oh, can I draw it all at once? What you can. What did I do wrong here? You uh, specify a number of cards you want to draw in the little pop-up. I'm forgetting. Am I supposed to draw up to seven? Is that right? Uh, yes. Okay. What is the best hand you can make with that? Well, I got a pair, which is just about all I need. All right. What were you uh, trying to cast? All right. So, chance chance hearing this guy start to speak he's he's had it up to here with these lords of darkness or whatever the hell they are and he goes i i don't know what you are you're not what we're after though why don't you just go on and shut up and he casts silence on him (laughs) all right Uh, so let's see silence oh ka yeah could i have used as is written to do a free faith free roll on that uh probably uh, okay. I don't know because rerolls don't work on crit fails, do they? Uh, no, they don't. You're right. With an edge? Uh, even with an edge. Okay. It would have saved you the so Benny, think... though, but it still would have been a one. Right. All right. So you only now needed one PowerPoint to cast that, and you yeah. got three, Two. so you're good. Oh yeah. All right. So you you feel your connection with Madoska return, and she says calling again so soon, handsome. Yeah, I don't know what this guy is. I just I just want him to stop talking. Can you make that happen? Oh, we can do that, but you realize every time you are calling me, you are you are wagering a portion of your soul. This is not something to do all willy and nilly. I, I understand and appreciate that, and I really appreciate your time. I okay. will come see you as soon as we're done with this. Oh, excellent. As long as you know, your soul is very tasty and Madame Madoska appreciates this. Okay, goodbye. And with that, the connection is severed and you hear nothing, honestly. A sudden, like, almost like a rush in your ears of a pressure differential as all of the sound is sucked away from him while he is trying to strike this intimidating pose. It's a little unnerving, but not nearly as much as what he was going to do to you. He is no longer able to enforce fear checks on you, at least for the time being. 
though he cannot force you to run. Fantastic. However, he can still break you in half. <laughs> and since you did that to him, you've become priority target number one now. But let's see how that goes. Let's see here. Gets to make a fighting roll. Ooh. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I believe a nine is indeed going to hit chance. Let's see. Um, your parry is two? Yep. Okay. Uh, so that's uh, actually a raise against you. Who boy. Uh. <laughs> that with a raise. That's a lot of dice. That's pretty This is good. a lot of dice. Uh. That's pretty well. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh no! And we can't, like, help. Great. Um. Can <laughs> you fix dead? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Okay, so let's see. Apply damage. Um, would you like to spend a Benny to soak this? Yeah. All right, chance spent that Benny. Give me a vigor roll. <laughs> Fuck. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Ooh, you're cooking now. You managed to soak two wounds with that, reducing the amount of wounds you would have been dealt by two. You would have normally been dealt five wounds. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Instead, you are only dealt three wounds. Oh my That's goodness. That's still enough, right? That's enough. Um, you are going to go down. And I'm going to say he rushes towards you with unnatural speed, moving past Beck as Beck fires into him. And he yanks you up by your arm. And you soon fall back to the ground. But your arm doesn't. <laughs> the rest of you witness as Chance has been fully disarmed of his left arm. Oh. Jesus. That's going to make cards a challenge. There's like four cards that fall out of the sleeve from a <laughs> separate arm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is not good. All right. Uh, next up is Come on. <laughs> God damn it. The funny comments I had in mind don't really work anymore. <laughs> no. Um. Uh. <laughs> so I take it that he is that uh, Chance is not currently distracted or vulnerable <laughs> because Chance is just down. <laughs> uh, uh, Chance uh, is technically distracted, yes, but. Uh, <laughs> Um, uh, it does silence wear off if you fall down. Oh no! A little. Does the is the Play effect his hand too early? Uh, Play his hand. You no, can't say that right not. in front of him. Yeah, he's so still I've, silenced. I've, so if I healed him, would he come back to consciousness, or is, is that not how that works? Um, I think with your healing power, you might be able to do that. Let me double check. Because I didn't know if that was the same as a resurrection or if they had different mechanics. If, yes, thankfully he's just incapacitated. He's not fully dead yet. Okay, good. Yes, you would be able to get him back up, but you're not healing that arm. Okay, let's try a support roll. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> All right, boys. New challenge. Kill this fucker before Chance bleeds out. And it's going to be on uh, Lynn and Nicodemus for work the room.
Leave okay. that. Oh, yep. roll an additional skill die when supporting with persuasion or performance. So, so that die was game. Lin, and I'll bo roll a bonus die for Nico, and only the and only the skill die counts, not the six. I think. I believe so. Yeah. Uh, oop, lost the button a second there. Eh, this is a little bit right. for Nico. <laughs> Those are both successes. So they'll both get the benefits of support on their turn. All right, Lynn, you've been encouraged by Cassidy's simpering, weeping patience. <laughs> Didn't have to use all those adjectives. <laughs> I don't even know if like Lynn even hears this, but like once he sees that this is happening and that Chance has had his arm torn off, he just kind of takes a second to process it and then just full-on sprints towards uh, Midas, and I'm going to make a wild attack. Ooh, the wild. Uh, so, make an attack with a plus two bonus. Uh, to both attack and damage rolls. Become vulnerable to end of your next turn. Excellent. So I will roll a big ol' fightin'. Big ol' fightin' die. Uh, that's the b -b -b bruiser. And I get a plus two. Mm -hmm. All right, that's a success. Why is I? Why am I the target? <laughs> Got it. Wait, why are you the target? <laughs> Foundry has a targeting feature. And you uh, I, must have, target. I must have clicked on your. <laughs> Cassidy yeah, is name. eviscerated on the spot. <laughs> character uh, arc <laughs> is that with a raise with uh the support uh that is not with a raise unfortunately okay. not even with the support uh only benny that See if you can get it a little bit higher yeah uh that is a raise with support okay i will take it there um so and I roll damage for that. Yep. Oh. Oh. There's some dice. Oh. That's pretty good. That's very oh. good. I like it when awesome. the dice dice. That's alright. That's an alright roll. I've rolled better. Uh, oh also I mean. also that's a plus two. <laughs> for the wild attack, so it's 24. Oh, yeah, it is. All right, so let's apply damage. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. It's like an okay roll, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Does support okay, effect well. hit chance I've damage taken or bigger both? hits than that. <laughs> <laughs> it, it applies to their trait roll, not the damage roll. Okay, so he's going to spend a Benny to soak that because that was a lot of damage. Get up. No. Uh, mm. <laughs> you love to see it. So he manages to soak it, but he is shaken by that. I think this is just like Lynn running up and just like doing a big old leap and punching him as hard as he can into his ribs. Good. It's the Superman he punch. Gut punching him. <laughs> he staggers backwards. It's almost like you've punched those bullets deeper into him. <laughs> All right. Conrad. Oh. Yes. Uh, I'm going to MacGyver. So that's I got to spend a turn trying to build a thing, I suppose. And I Ooh. roll a repair for that, I believe. Yeah. What are you building? What you building? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Well, okay. Uh, <laughs> Super gun. <laughs> I'm com I'm taking uh, a bit of the the light gland that I took from that creature. Oh. And I'm mixing it with the uh, sticky uh, thing that I bought. And uh, so, yeah, so it's going to be uh, bright on one side, uh, but it, it's going to be encompassed by this dark sticky side. It, like uh. It's going to be bright on one side, basically, and very sticky. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm building. Okay. 
you have built a sticky glow orb. Interested to see how that plays out. Now we move on to round two. <laughs> Look who drew another fucking king! <laughs> it's Chad. Wow, Chad. first the initiative. Even with his arm torn off. He's bleeding so quickly. I still got it! I'm, I've got this. Don't oh, worry I thought about I drew me. the Joker, I drew the Jack. I was very yeah. excited for a second. <laughs> That's not going to be good enough to remove uh, Shaken. Not with the minus three penalty. Nope. Those wound penalties are nasty. Oh, oh he is Shaken. Yep. yep. I, I, I he went was... and looked it up. So uh... it definitely should have applied Shaken. Yeah. The only thing he isn't yet is incapacitated. <laughs> yep. All right. So that's that what I look forward to. We got back up next. So the thing I'm worried about is that even with my gun, I've already rolled a 13 mm -hmm. and a 14, and I've done absolutely no damage to him, and my da my gun does 2d6 plus one. Yep. So I have to perfectly roll, and I still can't do damage to him. Did Can you recover power points? Yeah, I have power points, why? Oh no, I was just asking if that was something I, that was not- We did last, at last episode. All oh, okay, did, I believe. Yeah. Um, so I don't super know what to do. Running is always an option. Yeah, that ain't gonna happen. In I'm the ruthless. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. Um, he has huge stats. That's the problem. We gotta bring the stats down. Um, is Beck? Yeah, Beck must be in melee range, right? Yeah, I'm sure you could duck into melee range if you wanted to. Yeah. Or you could delay your turn. Yeah, he could delay his turn. Um. Who was the second person Cassidy gave support to? It was to Nico and Lynn. Okay. Um. His friends. Be Beck is gonna. Hold this turn. All right. He's Next. loading his gun or something. There know. might be motivations <laughs> to delay your turn to after okay. the bard's turn. <laughs> All right. Nick so I have I have an ability that lets me cast heal um, as a free action. Yep. So I'm gonna invoke that ability first. Um. Give me a faith roll for it. That's some good shit. Oh my goodness. Excellent. Wow, yeah. All right, that's a raise. That's uh, two right. wounds. So I'm healing two of Marty's wounds. Oh my goodness. You're, you're sealing that stump shut. He gets a he gets a baby arm like Deadpool. <laughs> no! no. should have put the arm back. <laughs> the wound is covered in bees. <laughs> ah. Oh, hell yeah. That's cool. Honey arm. Uh, stop talking. <laughs> Big old goo arm. Um, all I can say is I am not afraid. Um, and I guess I'll roll smite. All right. Gee, Nico, your DM lets you have two actions. It's a, it's an edge. Um, so yes, get that multi-action <laughs> edges. They're very good for action economy. Action economy is the player's greatest weapon. Use well, it. Let's fucking go. Okay. All right, successful. You got that uh, gun loaded up with a good smite. Is that a raise on smite? Uh, it would be, but I don't think there's any benefit for a raise on smite. Oh, I thought it just added flat damage. Uh, it might actually. Let me double check. Do 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 smite. Yes, you're right. It, uh, the damage bonus becomes doubled on a raise. Yeah, there you go. You're welcome. Rules lawyer toaster here to make sure that we can deal damage to this motherfucker. Yeah, this is a common sense. <laughs> uh, thank you. But, um, okay. Um, I'm going to shoot now. All right. Unfortunately, that's not going to hit him. Uh, no. Will the, will the raise hit? hit? With, uh, uh, 
Cassidy's. Oh, with Cassidy's. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's yeah, there's a support. Yes, that is just enough. Hey. Good. Okay. What what do I roll for damage since we have to do this manually? All right. So you're going to roll your uh, weapons damage, and you're using the shotgun? Yeah. All right. The shotgun. Let's see. If you want to get in nice and close, we'll do 3d6 damage. So we're going to do 3d6. But then that's doubled, isn't it, because of the rays? Uh, it'll do 3d6 plus 4. Gotcha. Ooh, that's a good amount of damage. Boom, let's see here. He's shaking too, isn't he? He is shaking. Not stirred. Not yet stirred. We'll stir him. Your buckshot dicks, digs into him and much like the shots Beck was firing, it barely seems to phase him. He is wobbling around from that gut punch that Lin gave him. But this barely even knocks him off balance. Somehow, this Wolverine hits harder than your shotgun, filled with the holy energy you have bestowed upon it. Unless you want to re-roll that. Uh, that was almost as high as I can get, wasn't it? No. Uh, unless you get some explosions. Yeah, you could have gotten some explosions. Your dice were pretty bell curved, I think. It was all right. Four, four, and three. Yeah. Great. Right, I'll try one more. All right. Don't crit fail again. <laughs> I don't think you can crit fail on damage rolls. Nope. You just get real disappointing. I forgot you get Benny damage. Never done damage. <laughs> it's the same fucking roll. Ooh, the same roll. Well, I got a <laughs> six, though. Oh, the six didn't explode. Oh, yeah, the six did not explode. So manually explode that. Roll another d6 for me. Why was it not doing it? Okay, weird. Because it, it was a manual expression. Yeah, it's because it's not a, it's not an ability in the game. You just typed dice. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> one more damage. Okay. Uh oh, oh one he more actually damage. dies. <laughs> that that yeah, little I, that little bit of extra has him teetering more in place. You have extended shaken on him. I'll take it. All right, Argo. Cassidy's shitting Not himself, Cassidy. but he's also yeah. encouraged by the small bit of progress that's being made. So he's gonna swallow it down, and he's gonna put on. A vicious voice. He's going, <laughs> brother. If you're t if you're intimidated by a twink telling tall tales, I think you've got bigger problems. Ooh. And we're gonna go for the taunt roll. Gonna make him nice and vulnerable. And we're gonna free reroll the taunt roll. And we're gonna pay the taunt roll. <laughs> <laughs> the Motherfucker! Wow. <laughs> Wow. I get three fives in a row. This is stupid. <laughs> Got more bennies. You do. Oh, fuck! <laughs> well. <laughs> unforge. Come on, man. Let's see uh, what his role is. Mm. <laughs> nah. Just... He is unfazed. Undeterred. You're not even sure if he can hear you with that silence surrounding him. Cassidy, I made you do one thing. You need to do it at some point. <laughs> God damn it. What's the point of you? Dynamite's pretty strong. That's true. You have dynamite. We'll, we'll be getting there. Probably. <laughs> we're, also, we're also around here too, though, is the problem. <laughs> yeah. It was supposed to All make right. him vulnerable. <laughs> God damn it. Conrad. Yeah. You got, you got a glowy sticky. What are you doing with it? Well, Chance took away his ability to speak, I want to take away his ability to see. Ooh. Uh, I just want to glue this glowing thing just right on his eyes. Uh, <laughs> just launch it up into his face. Yeah. All uh, right. So, in in my head, I have uh, I still have my uh, grappling hook, so it's kind of like 
glued it to the end of that, and I'm just kind of twir twirling it around with the lasso, ready to just aim it directly at his face and just hope it hit nails his eyes. All right, give me an athletics. That is a success. Ooh. That is interesting. Yeah, I'm hoping it makes it a, a lot harder for him to uh, see us and react accordingly. He's got a face full of sticky stuff. Mood. Anyway. <laughs> he's going to spend a Benny to try and get out of Shaken. Now that it's his turn. I can't believe me, it's just got a handy and a facial. He's facial. not going to do that, actually. Oh, you have a thing that can prevent that? Uh, I can interrupt. Ooh, because you're holding your action. Mm-hmm. Um, I think Beck is just going to shoot at him. What the fuck? Uh, oh, that exploded. Yeah, okay, zero a is a 10. It's not a zero. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, oh, uh, that's, that's more than a raise. That's a raise, right? Yeah, it's a raise. All right, that's ignored because I just spent the PowerPoint for it. Let's do this. Uh, no, that's not what happened. That ain't how it happened. Uh, oh wait, no, I was doing shooting. This oh, was yeah. not the dice yeah, I was supposed roll to roll. the damage, not, not the, uh, the Never shooting. Never mind, yeah. I'll take that back. Give me a second, <laughs> let's do this. Uh, that was stupid of me, sorry. We got it. Ooh. Okay, now We're I will Benny, Benny that <laughs> and re-roll yeah, yeah, yeah. that. <laughs> that's more like it. There's, yeah. some, yeah. There's yeah. some That's yes. more fucking like it. Let's go. All right, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> and I think I think Beck, what, as he goes to do whatever he does, uh, he goes, I don't fucking think so, and slides in front of him and just puts the revolver like into his gut like point blank and just fires Ooh. all right let's apply that damage that was silly uh, of me sorry for rolling the wrong thing five times in a row <laughs> <laughs> so immediately after he spends a benny to get out of shaken you just put him in shaken again <laughs> wait is he able oh, to yeah. spend the benny because i interrupted him uh it technically he, was not his turn, so he couldn't if, act. If, if you interrupt him and uh, make him shaken, then he's just going to spend that Benny to get rid of it. This way, okay. you're making him waste that Benny, and he's just shaken again. Oh, I thought if I did something that would shake him again while he was shaken, it would be the next tier of damage. Um, You could do that. Would you prefer to do that, or would you prefer to waste his turn? I mean, we need to do Ooh. damage to him some fucking how, but... Wasting your turn's pretty good, but yeah, um, we'll just Wasting make him waste a turn, good. I guess. Yeah, we'll just All right. do this to him. All right, he's shaking again. does a lot of damage. It's true. All right, we're back to Lynn. All right, so this guy is only shaking at the moment. Oh, mm -hmm. he's hella distracted too. Right. What uh, advantage is he is, Yeah, give. because of what Conrad applied. Uh, that's a penalty to his offensive rolls. Okay. okay. Um, I'm still vulnerable from until the end of my next turn, but like I think I'm still gonna go for. If I do another wild attack that keep, that keeps the vulnerable stack on me, but it will negate the consequence of it. Effectively, yeah. Uh, I think that's what I'm doing here. I think Lynn's still pretty fucking mad. Uh, so I'm gonna do, gonna do a bruiser. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, there would be no advantage or disadvantage here. That'll be a hit. All right, I'm gonna do some damage. I'm gonna Benny that. <laughs> Bleeding you dry, a Benny. We are running the fuck out. <laughs> this guy is just meant to soak our Bennies before the final encounter. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I'm gonna. <laughs> Chokes on them with the session ends. We get him back. Oh, oh man, but he's shaking. <laughs> Now's the time. 
Alright. Good. I would... That's so scary. Well, as I would you, use a Benny. As you connect, your fist is not making any headway on him. I think Lynn, Lynn is just like a little winded at this point. Like, yeah. I think what like what this looks like is like after that initial punch, he's just continuing, just trying to wail on him. With everything he's got. So, damn it, the first one was supposed to end it. <laughs> Gotta keep going. No, I'd I'd still keep the vulnerable for that because I did another wild attack. Yeah, I just gotta apply it to you again. Did Cobb yeah, gain Bennies at some, some point? Um, I have my GM Bennies, but uh, he also has his own Bennies from being a wild card. Oh, so he has three first before you have to spend yours. Mm -hmm. Right. We just don't see right. those. I wanna, bef Cassidy, before you go, I'm just to say, can you crack some jokes? <laughs> can you make <laughs> us laugh? Some jokes right now. Yeah, gonna strategically, cut. support might be better than uh, uh, vulnerable. I was trying to fix the not hitting him problem. <laughs> Let's see. Blah. Yeah, I'm going to say, uh, what, I turn my back on you for one second and you're not pulling your weight? Just stick your hands in there and crack his shell open. Just taunt performing at Lynn. <laughs> Beating like a lobster. And then, uh, bonus, ro bonus dice at Nico again. And let's re-roll that one free and that's a six there you go all right you both get the benefits of support hey conrad you successfully blinded this yes. tremendous lumbering creature who is near him currently so lynn is in melee beck went in for a close shot uh beck, are those the only two that are really close yeah, to beck, him right now beck is probably right in front of him lynn is also probably to his side you said yeah i'm punching his ass <laughs> okay, so at Just this point, it. <laughs> at this point, I'm gonna shout out to everyone and be like, "Get some distance. He can't see us. Whatever you do next, get away from him." And I'm gonna take a shot at him. Ooh. That Force will hit. hit. Okay, and rail damage. gun, rail gun, gun, rail gun. Explode uh, 47 okay. times, please. <laughs> Oh, uh, I'll need you that. Hmm. So. Do you want to uh, stick with that or Benny it again? Get my last Benny. Let's just go for it. Well, Fuck, we're rolling so bad. Seven it is. <laughs> That's all right. First I wasn't expecting time in this history, to. Uh, yeah. Conrad shoots a gun and does not kill a man. <gasps> it's almost as if he doesn't give a fuck about bullets. I wasn't expecting that to take him down. We know what's next. Yep. I'm, I'm staring at Cassidy, being like, <laughs> trying to make eye contact with Cassidy, being like, <laughs> you know what to do next. <laughs> All right. Now it's his turn again. He's out of his own Benny, so I'm going to pull from my GM Benny's. Oh, mind. God. So he actually gets a turn. And he's still silenced, unfortunately. You see him reach down and pull one by one these bullets out of him that you have been firing as they drop to the ground. And you see his beak monologuing, but no sound is coming out. You're not sure if he's aware of that. <laughs> <laughs> so 
With his menacing speech belayed, he's not doing much to instill fear into you. I have a quick question. Uh huh. Mechanic wise, trait rolls are just on actual shooting, right? Yes. Like it's not on the damage? Right. The damage roll is not considered a trait roll. Gotcha. Um, I didn't roll a 13 then. I rolled a 15. Oh, because okay. I accidentally I click I clicked on distracted to see what my thing was and that mm -hmm. reduces my rolls by two. Gotcha. Okay. Um, does that matter at all or no? Uh, no, that would not have changed the result. Okay, cool. I just wanted to make sure. All right. I was trying to read what distracted did when you said he was distracted, so that's what. Yeah. Uh, so let's see. Um, while he fails to instill fear in your heart. He does reach down and press his open hand onto Lin and tries to crush Lin into the ground like one would squash a bug. Oh, rude. So let's see. And does a four even hit Lin? No. No. All right. So he's going to GM Benny that. Does a five hit nope. Lin? <laughs> oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, here oh. we go. No, All if, right. the, if the dice sure explodes, then Lin explodes. Lin. Yeah, this is true. All right. So he gets to roll with a raise for his damage. GM menus do you have? Uh, I'm down to four now. You can see that in the uh, players list at the bottom left. I think you can see it anyway. Yeah, it says four. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. So that does 19 damage. So let's apply that to Lin. Uh, this that? would be two wounds unless you want to roll a Benny to soak. I'll roll a B Benny to soak. What is the... Is that a bigger roll? A uh, bigger roll, yep. All right, you successfully soak both wounds that would uh, normally take. Instead, you were just shaken. Okay. Oh, boy. Oh, wait a minute. You're vulnerable. How does that affect that? Oh. Uh, so I'd be at minus two if I was rolling the... Uh... Uh, so he says, uh, subtract minus two from vulnerable. trait roll. No, that's just Oh, vulnerable. Okay. Yeah, vulnerable is uh, he gets plus two on his attack against you, but uh, uh, he already okay. rolled 13 on the attack, so no additional uh, effects from that. But, but he's, uh, he's distracted too as well, or he has the blinding thing on him, so he would subtract that. So it, yeah. it would just so equal out, wouldn't it? Evens out, yeah. Yeah. So he crushes you into the ground, smushing you there between his fingers as his giant hand presses down upon you. You're starting to feel the air pressed from your lungs as he suffocates you. Is Lin under muck? Uh, yeah, he's pressing you down under the muck. So that's good. All right. Oh, minus one still sucks. It sure does. Just uh, dragging myself away from him as far as I can. All right. That's a good move. All right, Lynn, uh, you're out of bennies, aren't you? I am. So you uh, do not get to Benny out of Shaken, but you can try and spirit roll to recover from Shaken at the end of your turn. Uh, that would be my action, right? Um, basically, you get no action. You just get that for free at the end of your okay, turn. OK, cool. So I'm going to wait, <laughs> so I don't have an action. Correct. Okay, so yeah, I'll go if ahead you and succeed that. the spirit roll, you get your turn. Otherwise, you're just. You can move. Oh! Alright. You succeed in that spirit roll. You get At this moment, you. Conrad's a little relieved that you're actually kind of getting dragged out of there. Because uh, I, I, he knows you're a brawler, and I was just, like, afraid I wouldn't be able to, like, get you oh, off wait. of him. So. Uh, yeah, wait, no, I didn't take any wounds, did I? Nope, never mind. Nope. So you don't get the uh, wounded I ain't bonus that yet. you would normally get. <laughs> All right. And let me double check something. Put 
Getting out of Shaken. Is that at the end of your turn or the beginning? He's also still got support. The uh, spirit roll happens at the start of your turn. Okay, so you do actually get your turn then. Sweet. I think this is like Chris Evans pulling the helicopter onto the <laughs> like helipad levels of ridiculous, just pushing back. <laughs> the hell you do? This is bad. Oh, is it my turn? Yeah, you do get oh. a turn. <laughs> um. <laughs> So let's see. Toaster's near me. Mm -hmm. We're the only ones in melee range here. Would grabbing Toaster and... Sorry. Would grabbing Beck and fleeing invoke... If I use my action to do that, would that invoke a attack of opportunity? Um, it would, but he'd be making it at a penalty from the giant glob of sticky stuff in his face. <laughs> he'd also be making that an extra penalty because hitting Beck is difficult. I have a trait that makes it so that everyone rolls negative against me. And that would be... Beck is hard to pick up. Mm -hmm. I wonder if he could just grab his head and try to drown him. Well, my... Let's see. So... I wonder if the medals mean anything. Or if they would do anything. Good question. Cast heat metal. <laughs> <laughs> Would doing a notice check be something I could do as just a free action yeah. whenever? Hmm. Okay. Uh, would that be cool if I just grabbed two of them and ran in that, case, in that case? Yeah, I mean, if if Lynn grabs him and hoists him over his shoulder, Beck's just gonna fire over his shoulder <laughs> as a moving target. So I mean, it mm -hmm. doesn't really bother. And him. I have the I have the support. Lynn, from... grab my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I have the support, so. Okay, so I rolled an eight on the notice check on the metal. You notice that these metals, when you inspect them, appear to be from various different wars that no one person should have served in all of. Get the medals. <laughs> Getting the hell out. <laughs> All right, so Lynn's getting the hell out. Yeah. All right, he's gonna take a swipe at you as you go. Let's see if he can manage that. He does manage that. Uh. Now. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. just to be clear. Mm -hmm. Um, I technically have dodge yes which prevents people from doing attack uh, oh it's ranged attacks yeah makes you harder to hit with ranged attacks which normally gotcha. your parry does not apply to never mind yes okay all right so he's gonna take a swipe at lynn all right oh he's scared yeah yeah so he takes a swipe at you, raking through your back. You feel deep uh, channels of missing flesh across your back now, where his claws rate, and you tumble down into the muck, dropping back just after you pick no. him up. That's fun no, for you. Did we not get away? Uh, no, because you're uh, shaken. Oh, fuck. I think Ugh. Beck kind of oh, sorry, sits up in... Oh, go on, sorry. Uh, I would drop the vulnerable because I didn't do wild attack, right? Yep, it just All fell right. off at the end of your turn. Cool. So I think Beck stands up and looking up at him, looks at those medals. Is one of those medals from the Civil War? You do indeed see one medal from the Civil War. Is it Beck's father's medal? What was Beck's father's name? Uh, Beck's father's name 
was George Beck. As you peer at that metal, you do see a George on it. It's hard to make out the rest of it. Beck immediately sits on his ass, wipes his head, and just laughs. Oh, I see how it is. You think I'm scared of you? You think I left because I was afraid, and now you're showing me this, this lord of fear. He is clacking his beak back at you, but not making any words because no. he is still silenced. <laughs> no. I ain't scared of my father. And I ain't scared of you, Pretender. Go on. See if I'm lying. And, uh... Yeah, does he have to roll to notice if Beck is lying? Because Beck is no longer afraid, having seen through this facade. Mm. I think he that's pretty clear. He can see that. Yeah. He is not afraid of this person. Yeah, I think Beck turns to the others and goes, This is all a sham. Feels pretty fucking real to me. What do you mean? These awards, this stature, this ain't his true form. He's smaller than this. Boasting men always are. Hey. That's when he fires. Ooh, that's a hit. Matter of fact, that's a raise. Okay. All right. My father had no medal. He deserted in the middle of the war. Ooh. So you've discerned that he is showing you falsifications. Maybe it's a different George. He is shaken once more. Stolen Valor. All right. Nick Demas. I want to do a notice roll. Do I notice? So... Do okay. I just want to look and see if there's anything or any kind of attack that might have come from a direction that isn't what is standing in front of me. Ooh. Give me that notice. And you, you know have what? The benefit from uh, from Cassidy, don't you? Yep. I do. Do you want to use it, it on this? Or do you want to save it for whatever else you do on your turn? Do I need it? Um, four is usually a success. Um, but also, at the same time, I'd like Lynn to give me a notice. Do you save oh, support? Do they just apply in general? Uh, support applies to one specific trait role. Hmm. That's a three. Uh, uh, I'm reading something. Okay. <laughs> I get a free notice check to spot any lies within reach of my whip. Uh, Could I you grant get a re-roll when you attempt to? Yes. You, can't, you, you would have to give someone the whip physically. Gotcha. Okay. I mean, so I'll use, would I have I to do that on my turn, or could I toss that to Lynn? You could, you could do it on your turn. Gotcha. Um, all right, so yeah, I'm going to use that bonus then for the notice. Okay. So both Nicodemus and Lynn notice something that's shimmering in the air, barely perceptible, extending from this Lord of Fear and looming closer to Argo. 
hovering over him. Uh. Oh. Heartless. <laughs> Sorry. Just call me a nobody. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, you two are the only ones that can see that. I, I'm gonna look at Beck. I'm gonna point directly at it because it is my turn. All right, Beck, you get a notice check. All right, let's try this. It's not very good, but we can try to explode. Uh, now Beck can see it. Cool. All right, cool. It's my turn. With him the heel. pointing, can anyone else make a check? Oh, uh, sure. Now that he's calling it out loud. Oops, not agility. Pants can also make out that silhouette looming over Cassidy about to strike. All right. What else would uh, Nicodemus like to do on his turn? Um, okay. Well, I have two things that I can do. First is I'm going to heal in. two wounds right just one just one. Oh, okay i'm okay with wounds right now i get it chance i get the last one yeah yeah i'll heal chance i get bonuses for having wounds oh i didn't know that okay cool i'm getting riled i'm getting riled All right, that's a success. You managed to get uh, Chance patched up as best you can without without that arm attached. Too. He uh, does have the one arm uh, hindrance, though. Imagine like bees are like crawling and packing the wound. They're very <laughs> dutiful, very diligent little creatures. Something I need to ask. Um, smite is still applied, right? I don't need yep. to. Yeah, okay. So I just have to do a shooting roll, um, which I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, that lasts for until you have to reload, which is five shots for that weapon. So that hits. With a plus four. And again, it doesn't seem to impact him in the slightest. Well, I was aiming at the creature. Oh, at the creature. All right. Yeah. Um, heck, so yeah. <laughs> while you see the the shots travel through it as if it were immaterial, ethereal, the holy energy you have imparted onto these shots disrupt the creature and cause it to splinter and scatter, vaporizing in the air. I think one just kind of sits there stunned and huh, it's that easy, huh? Cassie just really drops, makes... drops down to a crouch covering his what the fuck? It and really makes you think back shoots when... right past him. These things can be killed and here you ran from it. You left. Maybe you're done running. Oh, Nice. Maybe. Oh no! Not the well, Joker. Well, 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 well. <laughs> Look who's gotten a Joker. No. <laughs> that gives him a Benny, so he can get out of shaking. And as he does, 
he reaches up and rips the sticky stuff off his face, ripping his face off with it and discarding that flesh to throw away into the muck. Mm. And he cranes his neck upwards and unleashes a silent scream that after a few brief seconds manages to pierce and eradicate the silence that has been enforced upon him. Oh. And he says, I said it's only fun when you run. And he attempts to fear everyone again. So, everybody needs to give me a fear roll. That's a uh, spirit. Uh, that is spirit, is unless you have something else that uh, lets you counter it. If you want to scare me, you're going to have to drop the rhymes. Oh boy. All right, so let's go down the list here. Uh, Beck, you're a feared. If I get a raise, um, then everybody gets plus one. Okay. Uh, Beck would need two more, though. No. I mean, I can Benny that. You could Benny that. Sure. That worked. Ooh. Is seven a raise? Um, seven was not a raise. No. So, no, you do not uh, grant people a bonus, but that reroll was good enough. So yeah. let's see. Uh, Beck is good. Lynn is good. Chance, you're a feared. Conrad, you don't okay. fear anything. Holy shit. <laughs> Beck shakes his head. <laughs> Not playing this Conrad. Game. All right. So I only Chance scared. is feared by this. And uh, Chance, uh, roll me a d20. All right, that's a six. Let's take a look at what a six is on the fear table. <laughs> it's my favorite game show, What's on the Fear Table? What's <laughs> no. on the Fear Table? All right. I think it's distracted. That is distracted, but uh, because he has a two on there, uh, that it increases it by two. His fear is more potent than other forms of fear. So that's oh going to bump it up to vulnerable. So you're shaking and vulnerable. You're in a real bad state down there. And as he calls out and you feel these palpable waves of anxiety emitting from him, he says... I am the shiver running up your spine. Panic as you realize you're out of time. I am the stalker in the dead of night, keeping you awake as you toss with fright. I am the chill run across your grave, soon to be the death of those you cannot save. I am the fear deep inside your bones, cutting you down before you reach the throne. Jack Skellington. Is he singing now? He's, He's singing still now. Riding. Does Beck hear the singing? He does. He just laughs. This is so funny to Beck. <laughs> this is like truly 100% the funniest shit Beck has ever heard in his life. And because, Chance, you are the only one who is afraid of him. Unfortunately, that makes you his target once more. <laughs> <laughs> So as he is singing, he is trudging through the slime with oh, big, sick. lumbering steps moving towards Chance. Maybe he'll miss. He reaches down and picks you up by your remaining arm. And let's see what he does with that. No. <laughs> does he get anything for, action? like, leaving melee he range? Does. Um. Oh, yeah. Opportunity attacks. Yes, I'll say opportunity attacks for... Uh, Lynn and Beck. Nice. And uh, I believe opportunity needs to be done with melee. Sure. Do that while shaking. Um. No. Yeah, I'm trying to be honest with the fiction here. here. Sorry. Let me check my reference. 
Quick reference. Conditions. Shaken. You can still move and take free action, so yes. Okay. So I got a raise. All right. Get him with the raise. Got an 11. And then with that... Uh, uh, this is going to be plus one. All right. So 14. These are all minus because I used my PowerPoint. Mm-hmm. Hey, Ooh. I used all Spirit right. Drinker on him. Ooh. So uh, I believe yeah. that is both piercing and... Uh, because it's direct spirit damage to him. And I, uh, where is it, where is it? Soul Eater. Uh, if the Herald causes a wound or more with a successful barehanded fighting attack, he may make a spirit roll at my negative two, which I did the spirit roll because I got the raise, as a free action, and I may heal a wound or fatigue if it hits him. Okay. So he leaves himself open as he plucks Chance up allowing the two of you to get your hits in on him. And Lynn, you manage to break something. At first, you're worried it's your hand with the track record of how damaging this guy has gone. But then you see his leg wobbling and he is forced to fall to one knee. Oh, I didn't roll damage. Oh, Bad. sorry. Roll damage for me. Yeah. I thought that 13 was your damage roll. Uh, so I didn't use my benefit from last round. Does that carry over since it? Which benefit? The, uh, the from... Cassidy buff? Yeah. Uh, that would apply to the fighting roll. OK. So a 16 wouldn't have been an additional raise? No, this is just a raise. Okay. I just want to make sure. So let's see how much damage that does. Oh, it's pretty good. That's a goodly amount of damage. Yeah, you break that bone. And send oh, I him. think that's also plus one. It is. Ooh, excellent. You send him down on one knee, giving Beck enough time to sink his jaws into this creature, starting to drain the spirit from him, drain that occult essence that empowers him. And Beck, you can taste this disgusting ectoplasm as it flows into your maw. And you know that this has been stolen from Erebus. Uh -huh. You are reclaiming it for him. All right, two questions. What's that yeah. do for my fatigue and what's that do for my power points? Uh, you can regain a fatigue or a wound, I believe it said. Mm-hmm. Uh, you regain a fatigue. That does not affect your power points, though. But cool. But getting rid of that fatigue, that's good for you. That's real good for you. So, yeah, I think Beck sinks his, like, from behind the second that he's, like, kicked in the back of the knee and forced to go down. Beck just looms over him and then launches down into the side of his neck and bites that spot between his neck and his shoulder and just starts drinking his blood and mercifully, this savage attack on the man's throat has stopped his singing, thank fucking God. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> he falls on top of Chance. Let's see. Oh. Next up is Lynn. I'm gonna roll Spirit. Oh, oh no! Oh, oh no! Oh. Uh, I also have trouble magnet so uh <laughs> all right you're gonna get a lung full of this nasty black tar that's beneath you this ebon iker it almost feels like it is trying to get into your body ew it's it's gross don't like that all right Pax gonna, is up next gonna get symbiote Lynn. Oh, Good man. <laughs> so he fell on top of Chance? Yep. I... But he's on the ground. That's an improvement. Right. <laughs> In ways. <laughs> uh, 
there's so many open wounds that are in the goop. That's just... Uh. <laughs> Alright, well, I don't think my dynamite plan's gonna work in this situation. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh. Hold your turn. Good. I don't know if hold works either, really. Uh. Uh, do you have anything that could get rid of fear or shaken on Marty? Or chance, rather. It's like distraction and... Vulnerable. Vulnerable or what I can get rid of. He has vulnerable if you want to get rid of that. For that I need to succeed at a taunt, <laughs> which hasn't been working. Doesn't hurt to try. Oh, big man fall down. <laughs> <laughs> it's suave. It sounded exactly like Argo. Just exactly. like I remember. I'm just like, should I keep chewing the same thing? It's never worked so far. Yeah, unfortunately Until the... he has a very high spirit. Until this happened, my plan all turn long was that when it was my turn, I was going to do 1,000 years of death. <laughs> which is that I was going to try, I was going to ask him. if I could do a stealth charge and I was going to try to shove a dynamite up his ass. Ooh. But that is literally on top of chance. I don't think I can do that. You should give it a long wick and get chance the hell out of there. I don't. <laughs> But he has time, too. That's he seems sad. to be taking damage to our melee, so I mean, you may as well give it a try. Better than shooting him. I just feel like I need to fix one of the people. Well, no, I'm saying, like, I don't, I can't, I can't use dynamite when he's covered in my party members. <laughs> Last turn, <laughs> we'll he wasn't covered there. in everybody. He's on top of chance! <laughs> we'll get out of there. There's fun. still, like, three-fourths of a chance to save. He'll do a great <laughs> job. He's still we'll in there, somewhat. It's still a perfectly good chance. You don't I mean, need to light it right now. I don't, think we, can long I don't yeah, think we can regrow him from the the arm. <laughs> My worry with long with long wick is that then he has a chance to retrieve it. Yeah, and, yeah. and then he yeah. has a dynamite that's lit, <laughs> and that seems way worse. Yeah, oh, I kind of agree. God. Yeah, no, fuck. Hmm. If you get it up deep enough, he probably can't retrieve it. God. He's got a fully, just both fingers. <laughs> Does have a flared base? Does <laughs> have a flared base? <laughs> no! No, he's gonna have to go to the doctor go for that LD. one. Okay, fine. Let's see whether or not I can get it past the rim. <laughs> <laughs> and it just fully slurps in there and cannot be retrieved. Wow, tight. Do you think I need a stealth roll, or do you think he's too fucked up to react to me right now? He's pretty fucked up. You can probably just roll uh, fighting or athletics to get just, it up in there. Oh god, let's let's uh, go! <laughs> I learned it from watching anime. Oh. Uh oh, that's I learned it from watching Naruto. That's a raise. Uh -huh. That's going deep inside. How much wick you giving it? <laughs> One second. <laughs> Well, I mean, each round of combat is, what, six seconds? So I mean, that's done. Like... Yeah. See, we got more time than that. We got, like, 30 seconds before he responds. <laughs> I, guess yeah, I, guess I, should give him, I guess I should give him time for the party this game. <laughs> and then uh, after that, you want to book it? Yeah, I think we should probably all spend our turn <laughs> running from the, the wick as it slowly burns <laughs> up towards the asshole of the boss fight. And Argo's right. gonna shout, I am the shiver up your spine! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, oh. Chance, you managed to recover from shaking. Alright. Uh, get me out of here. Get me out from under this thing. What do I have to do to get out from under him? Uh, you can just move. He's not specifically pinning you. He's just there and heavy. He just happened to fall mostly over me. Yeah. Great. Well, for the first time ever, uh, I have a really fast move speed. I'm getting the fuck away from him. <laughs> Go <laughs> scooping your legs. You making use of uh, your fleet-footed ability. Yeah. 
All right. And this works because I was afraid of him. It's great. That's good. All right. Back. We're going to see yeah, the adrenaline kicked in. It is uh, we are working overtime for you. Is that a hit in melee? Let's see. Uh, that is not a hit. Gotcha. Delete one of my dynamites. Uh, now I only have 17 left. Oh. Do I need a hit to use the stuffy stick on him? Um. Because it just says anyone poked with the stick. It. Oh, uh, if you were doing a touch attack where you're just trying to touch someone, uh, that's actually easier. Okay. So th if what that's Beck what you're is, doing, that would hit. Because what Beck is doing right now, what I wanted to do was I wanted to start choking him out. And because I'm already grappling him <laughs> by hitting him with my teeth, he's going to pull the stuffy stick and drag it under his neck to hold him. And I'm hoping that by hitting him with the stuffy stick, it also makes it harder for him to breathe, lowering the difficulty of choking him out. All right. Sure you want to try to choke out a guy with the dynamite inside of his body? <laughs> He's shrugging off bullets. It'll be fine. Okay. Uh, give me a fighting roll. All right. Yeah, how's that, Ka? How's that? Oh. Once I have zero fatigue, I'm rolling pretty fucking good, ain't I? Why'd I let you get rid of your fatigue? <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> All right. Uh, fighting is normally a strength roll, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that means he opposes that with his strength. Let's see how he does. A one and a four. That is uh, he ain't incredible. opposing that too good. You are choking him out, and he can't breathe. You have yeah. congested him as that black bile begins to pour from his beak and his nose holes. I think Beck is, like, pulling it tight up, and he's he's arching over him. He has one knee pushed into his back, like, pushing his waist forward so that he's forced into the, the chokehold. And he gets real close to his ear, and he goes... Yeah, not so scary now, ain't ya? <laughs> All right. Uh, Beck licks his ear. Uh, <laughs> uh, Take spirit damage, motherfucker. <laughs> Why? Okay, Hisoka. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Nicodemus. <laughs> it was actually clever foreshadowing that all of the Argo Dynamite scenes are ass related. It's true. Planned. <laughs> Planned and based. Okay, um, the first thing I want to do is, um, can I make a notice check to see if I can find Marty's arm? Uh, yeah, it could be a notice check. Uh, oh, Benny. Okay. Oh my Ooh, there we go. You managed to pick it out of the muck just as it is sinking below. Only one finger still above the surface. And I'll let Chance tell me, which finger do you think would have been raised as that arm was severed? Uh, it'd definitely be the thumb. <laughs> it's just like thumbs up. Out of the thumbs up going down. <laughs> yep. So. That's Madoska's fault. Yeah. It really uh, is. I high five it and say pizza party and then let it sink. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You no, have rescued no. Chance's arm. Okay. Um, do I still have an action? Um, You have a limited action, so you can use that for heal. Right. Uh, no one needs a heal, though. So. Yeah, I don't think so, no. Yeah. Still recommend running from the exploding guy. Yeah, you want to book it? Yes. All right, we're booking it. And next up is Conrad. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, I'm going to book it as well. I wasn't that close. I was standing back taking a shot. Um, yeah.
Uh, yeah. I how close am I, <laughs> like, to him? I'm just trying to figure out, like, make that make sense in my head. Probably about like ten meters at this point, but you could definitely get a lot further away if you book it. Yeah, yeah, I'll book it as well. Alrighty. Poor me, this is going to be at the doctor in the ER, and he's going to be like, I was in the shower, I, and I fell I on slipped. it. I <laughs> slipped. <laughs> yeah. Oh, good. We get, before his next turn, we can act. This is good. Took four draws, but I finally got something above a five. <laughs> 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 All right. Chance still booking it? Uh, I mean, if I got far enough away to not get hit by the explosion, I'm probably going to turn around and aim at him. Yeah, you think so. Perfect. All right. So using the aim action, and then yep. uh, next is Conrad. Yeah, so I'm definitely far enough away at this point because I already had some distance to begin with, so uh, I'm going to take a shot. I'm just kind of, you know... Uh, I know the explosion's coming, but I just want to make sure he's not going to somehow luckily rip it back out of himself. Uh, I know you said it was deep in there, but that's what Conrad's thinking anyways. Um, so, yeah, I'll take another shot. Ooh. That's risky. That's a no. Damn, I'm all out of bennies. All right. God, what is out of belly bennies? You see so everyone he... conspicuously running. Has he cowards. taken any damage from uh, from me choking him out, or is he just bound slash entangled? Uh, he's entangled and vulnerable from that. Gotcha. So that means the dynamite will do more. Good. <laughs> Very good. Um, hmm. Let's see, what do I want to do? Vex about to be blasting off again. <laughs> Are you going to rocket jump the boss to the next boss? I wish. Um, I mean, I got no wounds and no fatigue. <laughs> and technically, I dodge ranged attacks, and I'm pretty sure that dynamite counts as a ranged attack coming from Argo, so... Uh, <laughs> I could very well dodge this explosion. Um... Parry the explosion. Parry yeah. the explosion. <laughs> Just says no. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to give it a try. Give me something good. Ooh, got a four. All That's right, what, what I needed. Trying to check. I think Beck reaches deep inside himself. And he goes, Oh, I ain't afraid of you. I know something way scary. Erebus, come claim your prize. And as he says that, uh, the shadow begins to roil around him, and an aura of deflection appears covering his body to protect him from whatever attacks come next. Ooh. And that aura almost looks like it takes the shape of Erebus, that tiger-like form around you almost like semi-translucent shadow armor. How does he respond to the name of Erebus? Um, there's not much he can do other than choke and gasp, so he does that, but in a way that is pissing his pants also. Cool, love that. <laughs> so I'm just going to continue to hold him so that he can't move. Excellent. I was about to All say, right. can Erebus explode? <laughs> Nicodemus. Haha, ha, help me. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. You want to help evacuate Lynn? Yes. How do I do that? Uh, give me an athletics or a strength to just like lift him up and try and get him out of there. I think my athletics is better. Let me look. Yeah, that's a lot of Wolverine to move out of the way. It sure is. Oh, that's a really good roll, though. You get one of his arms up over your shoulder, and you got him hobbling on on, uh, on his way out of there. You think you two are definitely going to manage to clear that blast radius. 
What's up with the gonna... bard and the cleric getting exploding athletic rolls? <laughs> I'm so uh, glad his leg is broken so he can't just full, you know, speed sprint at us with the bad <laughs> still in him. Yeah, I'm gonna roll spirit. Alright, roll that spirit for me. Pretty good roll. Okay. Alright. Uh, uh, that's good. You have your turn. Dang, I'm out of punching him in the head range. Um, I do have a shotgun, though. You sure do. That'll be at medium range for the shotgun now. Which would be a 2d6. I suppose that's... A lot of shooting at the guy that Beck is on. <laughs> this seems risky. It's fine. We're all really good shots. I think. <laughs> Beck would want us to be taking shots. Yeah. yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Can I hold my? I'm gonna hold my. Sh I'm gonna hold my shot actually. Okay. So I got the shotgun up and I'm aiming at him. Yeah. Right. So you start lining up that shot, and as soon as it becomes Cassidy's turn, the timer goes off on that dynamite. So, let's see how much damage that did. Mm -hmm. Alright, dynamite. Dynamite. Dynamite! Everyone in this party has experience with how big a dynamite radius is. Uh-huh. Alright, so give me 2d6, Argo. And by Argo, I mean Cassidy. Are these explodable? Yeah, it's uh, dynamite. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they didn't, though. All right. You want to spend your last Benny on rerolling that? See if you can do better. Do it. Do it. Ooh. And that's a exploder, right? So. Yep. So an extra D six. All right. So that ends up being thirteen plus two from him being vulnerable, and. Because this attack is coming from inside of him, he loses the benefit of his toughness. Oh. Oh, yeah. uh, let's see. I will let him see if he can soak this, but it's not looking good for him. Soak the internal dynamite. He's, he's done a lot of kegels. <laughs> he's done so many kegels, he wouldn't believe it. <laughs> Okay, he reduces his wounds by one. No one across uh, the west for my bulletproof prostate. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and shoot. See what you can do. Uh, so, as you are running away from him, you turn back and see a sudden look of fear gripping him. The very <laughs> thing he seeks to sow in others. His pupils condensing down into pinpricks before a sudden expansion from within him balloons him outwards and then he explodes popping and sending bits of the Lord of Fear splattering all across this layer of the lab. I can't believe you inflated him making him I was about to round. say it's a new one for the checklist. <laughs> We're slowly making our way through every possible kink. <laughs> Now then, Beck, uh, mm -hmm. let's see if you deflected this. I'm going to be reducing this roll by four, I believe. Is that uh, what uh, your deflection does? Yeah. So my de deflection is minus two, and I'm also able to dodge any attacks. Uh, and because this is not an attack on me, uh, and it is coming from Argo, I believe that is technically a ranged attack. Okay, I'll treat it that way. Uh, so you survive. <laughs> mm -hmm. For your benefit. Um, that means that gets reduced down to a nine, which will do one wound to you. That's fine. Oh, there we go. So you get thrown off of him as he fucking explodes <laughs> and splatters everywhere. And you see rising up from the muck someone come for a little snack. <laughs> <laughs>
to mop up afterwards. Howdy. Howdy. Like, as Erebus, like, licks Beck's face clean as he walks by, <laughs> Beck is like, what the fuck? God damn it, Argo. <laughs> His name's Cassidy. You put some respect on it. And that is where we're going to end for tonight. Oh. I think that was, the, was that the first time Beck said any of Cassidy's names? <laughs> <laughs> I think so, yeah. Yeah. <laughs>